They both did so. Turn that off. That is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Dari Special. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. If you want, you can pull out your notes. I know that we did some of this yesterday, but like I told you, it crashed. So I'm actually going to start back Westwood Expansion. I encourage you, pull out this packet, pull out this packet, pull out this packet, you guys. Because what you've got to learn for that test tomorrow, I heard some of you doing it when, or were doing it when we reviewed those uh, questions. Um, when you see certain dates, your mind should go to certain errors, okay? So if I say the 1930s, what era should you think about? Great Depression. If I say, I don't know, the 1800s, what could you think about? Where's the expansion? Industry, it could be a lot, okay? So if you pull out your notes and you start at page 12, you can take these notes with me, okay? What we're gonna fill in is the time period, okay? And the reason why that's so important is because when you're taking that test, if you see the 1800s, you should say, oh, I should be thinking Westwood Expansion, Industry, or something like that, okay? Then we're gonna talk about what caused that time period to occur, who was our president at the time, and some important things to know. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Even if you wasn't, we was gonna get started. Hey, where's my clipper? Oh, y'all could've told me to remove my wig from the podium. <laughs> y'all told me. I thought that was your cat. Oh, <laughs> You got my clicker? Or, no, I got it. I got it. So you got a clicker. Wig cap on the floor and everything. Yep. <laughs> I'll just okay. All right, right, you right. I can't tell y'all stupid. I'm just playing children. I love you. Okay. Yeah. Westwood <laughs> Expansion. Let's first fill in this because you know this is the what. This is the basic stuff. So for Western Expansion, the time period that we can put, it occurred from 1865 till about 1890. In other words, if you want, you can put down the uh, mid to late 1800s. So when you're taking that state test, if you see a question that's the mid to late 1800s, you could possibly be thinking about Westwood expansion, right? Okay, let's say we can fill in some other things, okay? Our causes of Westwood expansion. Can a historian in here raise? I love it. Beautiful. Tell me some things that caused us to expand out west. That's another way of me saying why did Westwood expansion occur. Kayla Jones? The discoveries of minerals. So you can put minerals. Kayla, M? Longhorn. Ranching. You, uh, Kayla actually gave you the specific name uh, of it, okay? The Texas Longhorn could be raised out there and you can make tons of money. Like I always tell you, there's a college football team named the Texas Longhorns. And if you come from a privileged family, maybe y'all have eaten at Longhorn Steakhouse. Like I told you, if you was my child, you'd be getting them steaks from Dollar Tree. Okay, tastes like rubber, just great. Put them in the microwave to cook them. Okay? Kayla, I did all three Kayla's. Kayla? That was four, y'all. Huh? The home, beautiful. I didn't even think about that. Kayla said the Homestead Act, okay? Some people are basic, not us here in Flip, okay? What does she mean by Homestead Act? You get 160 acres of land and you live on the Very good. You could have land, the availability of land caused westward expansion. Imagine that 160 acres of land, all you had to do was live on it for five years. The likelihood of you living on that though was not very good because life on the plains out west, it was hard, right? Hot, drought. Barbara said the other thing. We keep talking about we gonna build, go out here and find gold and build houses. What did people do? Them Native Americans, okay? We came and we said that we were discovering these things, but sis, it was people there. That's just like, imagine if you go home this afternoon and I'm sitting in your house on your couch in your mama's robe, eating a hot pocket, bald head, and watching Teen Titans. I'm like, sis, this is my house. Y'all calling the police on me. That's what we did to, I'm going to jail, okay? That is what we did to the natives, okay? Um, our presidents, y'all, there are tons of presidents that we could put, but just for this class, like you guys wouldn't learn Garfield and all that. The president you might want to put there is McKinley, but we can actually leave it blank because you won't need to know that, okay? Um, things to know. For the things to know thing, you guys kind of already told us. Kayla told us that one thing you need to know, Homestead Act, that was the availability of land. The other Kayla, Kayla Jones, told us there were tons of gold rushes. There's even a football team in California named after that gold rush. 49ers. The 49ers, because in 1849, gold was discovered. Okay, what else did y'all tell me? Um, Ranching, the Longhorn. Yes, Kate. And like how they took it, like manifestation. Boy, 
If I want to lose my teaching license, I'll kiss you. Okay? He is right. How we justify taking over. That's something else you would need to know. Manifest destiny. God selected me. God wants me to come in and take you over as you run around in your non-Christian ways. Didn't we do that with the Native Americans? Okay? We beautiful. That's another word you need to know. Okay? I did say it. I, I was going to try to get through this without going beautiful. Okay? Chris said another thing that you need to know is assimilate. We tried to assimilate the Native Americans, didn't we? Okay? We tried to make them like us. Like in my example I used yesterday, if I wanted to assimilate Barbara, tomorrow Barbara would come in in a little jumper dress from Goodwill. They got a hole in the pocket so your cheeses fell out. Barbara would be shaved bald and blonde, and Barbara would have 34 tattoos on her, right? She would have a lazy eye, okay? She would not have a lunch, so she would go to the cafeteria and steal, okay? I would make her like me, okay? Assimilation isn't a good thing. It had a negative impact on Native Americans, okay? Uh, Y'all, the one thing I can tell you about Westwood Expansion, the likelihood of you seeing that on state test, slim to none, okay? It's slim to none, but you guys are right. What you would need to know is why we were doing that, and you guys, being historians that you are, you told me that. Are we good with Westwood Expansion? Let's move on to the next one. The next one is industry and urbanization, okay? Now, the way the book teaches this, they break it down into two different chapters, and I teach it as one, okay? If we look, industry and urbanization happened from the mid to late 1800s, okay? So from about 1865 to the early 1900s, so from about 1865 to 1900, this is what was occurring. Let's go over industry first, okay? What are some things, I need you to really think about this, okay? Or let me switch that, not what, because it's higher level. Can a historian tell me how we were able to industrialize so rapidly? How we were able to get those factors? Kayla B? Immigration. Girl? Yes, tons of immigrants were coming into this country. So one of the causes of uh, industry and urbanization, immigration. Tons of immigrants coming in, okay? As a matter of fact, if we skip down to things to know, we could really put where those immigrants disembarked. Can a historian tell me where European immigrants, Michaela? Ellis Island. Ellis Island. That is where your European immigrants disembarked. You remember I taught you E, E, Europeans, uh, Ellis? There's also an A, Justin. Angel Island. If you were Asian, you disembarked in Angel Island out in California, okay? So those are things to know. That's one reason we were able to industrialize. Some other things that I would say that caused industry or urbanization, we had some great, 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 great important men when it comes to US history that we say built America. You might even watch the film called The Men That Built America, okay? Very good. You had these industrialists called Rockefeller, Carnegie, Vanderbilt. Can y'all remember their industries that they were over though? Very good. Vanderbilt was over trains. Rockefeller was oil. Carnegie was steel. He was from Pittsburgh. There's even a football team named the Pittsburgh Steelers. Why? Carnegie was from there. Okay? So things to know, I would know that you did have those captains of industry. Some people called them robber barons, though. Yeah, that was the one they got stuff like stealing. Right. They did horrible things. A lot of people thought that one of those horrible things that they did is they tried to form trust. What's another word for trust? Monopoly. A monopoly, okay? Like you think about it, even when you play Monopoly with your bald-headed grandma, think about when you play this game. Before, some of y'all play with the hood rules though. I'm building a house on Park Place, you ain't past gold, you ain't got boardwalk, nothing. Before you can build houses or hotels, you have to have all of that color group, right? Okay, a monopoly is when you own your competition. Are monopolies legal today? They are illegal, Bosford, okay? They are illegal, okay? So we try to break up monopolies and trusts. We're gonna go through and try to regulate businesses. Um, the other thing that I would know about that, um, things to know, so so far you guys have in Ellis Island, Angel Island. I would also know that there was tons of political corruption going on, okay? Because what you had at this time was an organization known as a political machine. Political machines gave necessities like jobs in exchange for what? Votes. Votes. So let's say 
that Fitzroy has been blacklisted, okay? He cannot get a job because he was trying to form a union. If I was a party boss, I'm a white male, trust me, black woman, nope, not at this time, unfortunately, okay? I would go to Fitzroy and I would say, look, I know you need a job. If you vote for me in this next election, I will give you a job, okay? Can you do that today? No. You can, but it's illegal, okay? Political machines, they gave necessities in exchange for votes. That's why our next group is gonna come through and trying to fix that problem, the progressives, okay? Some other things that I would know about life in the 1800s, we were, well, okay, go ahead. Beautiful, Kate is right. This was also a time, something is stabbing me in this fat roll. And I, I'm not, like y'all, they don't think I ain't take no bath. But it's a tag or something. Tag it, tell me. Okay, yes, Kate. Okay, <laughs> tons of inventions. I forgot to turn on the PowerPoint for y'all. Tons of inventions, okay? Um, the light bulb, Edison, the Bessemer process. It allowed us to build skyscrapers, right? You had all these industrialists coming through. Make sure I covered all that, okay? Something else you should know, because Kayla B told us cheap labor from immigrants. The gap between the rich and the poor was huge. There wasn't a really big middle class, was there? You either rich like Carnegie, or you were starving, like you were poor, dirt poor, okay? We're gonna, arm the progressives gonna do something to close that gap. They are, okay? Um, we already learned that, da, 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 da. what were you gonna say, Kanasha? Oh, I thought your arm was up, okay? Um, I taught you that, da, da, da. Oh, there was a group that formed to try to fight for the rights of the workers called a union, okay? If you see union on there, that might, you might put that under things to know. If you see a union, a union is an organization that fights for the rights of workers. What are some things that they were fighting for for their workers? Better pay. Very good. River said, I just realized what you said. I thought you said bite me. I was gonna say, oh. <laughs> he said strikes. That is how unions would fight for better pay, better working conditions by striking. Okay? Is everybody good with immigration and urbanization? I think we covered, yeah, all of the immigrants coming in. Did I teach y'all the difference between a push and a pull factor? Yes. Okay. Do I need to go over it? Yeah, yeah. I do. Okay. A pull factor is something that attracts you. So pull factors that made immigrants come to the United States, what are some positive things that were going on here? Jobs, the availability of jobs. We weren't at war. We had food, there was no famine. We lived in a democracy. It was freedom of religion. A push factor means something bad is going on in your country and it's pushing you out. So it's very good, it's the opposite of a pull. There's a war going on in your country. No jobs, extreme poverty and famine. Does everybody get that? You get it, baby? You understand? Okay. Yeah, and then they got over here and realized. Oh, it's a little bit the same. Okay. All right. Is everybody good with urbanization and immigration? Let's do progressives, okay? You know, the book taught it out of order, but I'm going to teach it in my order. To fix all of those problems we just talked about, a movement began known as the progressive movement, okay? They were there to fix all the problems of society, okay? You guys learned the 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th Amendment. Do I need to go over those? No. Okay, but those were all amendments. Go back and watch the other video if you don't remember. Those were all amendments passed to fix problems in society, okay? Whether it be closing the gap between the rich and the poor with the 16th, whether it be cleaning up political corruption with the 17th, whether it be the 18th, this is the one we need to talk about, prohibition. Okay, Dan Wiley in here. You know, this is his favorite one to talk about, okay? <laughs> What began at first is something known as the temperance movement. Listen to that word, temperance. That was a movement, I'm not sure if I taught y'all that. That was a religious movement to ban alcohol, okay? It's gonna lead to prohibition. Y'all, there were a bunch of people that religiously said that alcohol was a bad thing, okay? Unless you was taking communion, the blood of Christ, but not your Uncle Koo, uh June bug with you know, Michelob Ultra just sitting in this corner, you know, recording YouTube wig videos or something. I don't know, okay? <laughs> I mean, but alcohol was a problem. They said religiously it caused so many problems. So if you see temperance, know those are people fighting for prohibition, okay? Because we said it caused so many problems. Also, we tried to clarify or fix society by giving women suffrage. What is suffrage? Right. Right to vote. The right to vote. We didn't want women to be, listening to this word, 
disenfranchised. Damn. Okay, very good, okay? So progressives, the only other thing, because I already taught you party bosses, the only other thing that I could think that you might know about um, the progressive movement, there were other types of progressives, like uh, muckrakers, okay? You remember you were a muckraker exposing corruption here at HC, okay? A muckraker is somebody that exposes corruption. So for things to know, you could put a uh, muckraker. You could put the amendments down there. Um, up to Sinclair was a famous muckraker. Didn't he write that book? The Jungle. The Jungle? Not The Jungle Book. I know I mispronounced it. Is it Mowgli? Mowgli. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Not Baloo, the dancing bear. Is that right? Same Baloo. Baloo. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm so Okay, let's put the top, but y'all, if you look, progressivism is almost the same time period. Progressivism, uh, our time period is 1890 to the mid uh, 1900s, 1920s. So we move forward in time a little bit, okay? So if you see a question about the early 1900s, late 1800s, it might be about progressivism. Can y'all see how that portion of history in the United States is going to be highly tested? Because there, look how many chapters we've gone through. And there's one more, imperialism. Look at our time period from imperialism. 1872 to 1917. Imperialism, okay? Let's get the basic, the what out of the way. You might want to put this for things to know. What is imperialism? Who can tell me? Okay. Very good. Imperialism is when a stronger nation takes over a weaker nation. That's basic. What we need to know is the why. Why would a strong nation take over a weaker nation? Resources. Beautiful, okay? Are we going to try to take over a nation and we not get anything out of it? No, okay? So we know uh, what imperialism is. How do we justify it with what Cade said earlier? Manifest destiny. God will want us to take over these people and completely destroy their culture because we can bring them Christianity. Yes, Lou? Why did you stop imperialism when you started, uh, when you started into Beautiful, okay? Dang it, I tried not to say it. You said it Barbara said, why did imperialism seem to start when we get here? Because guess what happens here? We enter the war. We need to be focused literally on fighting now. Right, right. Wilson, very good. That's why it's going to stop because we had a bigger fish to fry. Like we need to focus on, oh my God, we're fighting in trenches now. That's beautiful. Okay, Barbara even has a little pineapple on her shirt because of the state I'm about to talk about regarding imperialism. What state? Hawaii. 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 What's Hawaii always a state? No. They had their own queen. No. Queen, queen Lilla Lukalani. That's why Lilo and Stitch, okay? But we wanted Hawaii because of what D said, resources. What resources were there? Sugar cane. Sugar cane, pineapple, all types of stuff. What is another reason why we wanted Hawaii though? As a dock a base. for trade. Very good. It gave us a place from which to trade over in Asia. Yeah. Hawaii literally was like a gas station for us. <laughs> we did. Okay, for us to get over to Asia, wouldn't we have to stop and refuel our boats? Yeah. Hawaii was a gas station. Hawaii was BP. You could have went in there and got you some wrap snacks, okay? <laughs> Hawaii was a gas station, okay? Some of y'all like, yeah, I steal from the kangaroo, and you're going to jail, okay? <laughs> um, another you. reason why, didn't we build something in Hawaii? A, base. a, military. a military base, very good, okay? A military base there. What military base is there? Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor, okay? This coffee really ain't as good as it is, y'all, because I don't have sugar in it because I got to lose this 12 pounds. I'm just sipping, because I also don't have lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Let me go get you some so sweet, but no, darling. It is strong. That's why I'm so like, Rawr! <laughs> You said I'm strong. Okay? Um, the only other thing for imperialism, we covered Hawaii. Look at Queen Little Lukalani sitting up there. I'm going to interject something here that's of importance. Wasn't there a war that occurred? Spanish-American. Yeah. So for things to know, shouldn't you put Spanish American? Okay. Y'all, this was our first war. A lot of people don't look at imperialism or Spanish American war as an important war. Spanish American war was an extremely important war because we're gonna become a global empire, aren't we? We're gonna take over places. After we defeat the Spanish, do you need the causes of the Spanish American war? Do you need me to say them? Yeah. The causes, okay. 
Yellow journalism. The Cubans coming and telling us stories and we exaggerated them. Sinking of the USS Maine. We thought that the Spanish blew it up. We pretty much know now it was the engine problem, right? You can put the DeLong letter where it criticized our president. So for imperialistic president, put McKinley. Y'all, if you see McKinley on that test, I promise you it's about imperialism, okay? So imperialism, McKinley, okay? Um, so those were the causes. Let's talk about the effects. Y'all, we got a lot of stuff. Did we get Hawaii from the spanish American War? No. no. That was Queen Little Lucalani. We got Guam, Puerto Rico, the Philippines. Did we get Cuba? It became a protector. Cuba was independent, but they really couldn't make no moves without us. They couldn't borrow money. They couldn't go to war with another country. They Cuba couldn't do anything without coming to Big Daddy and Uncle Sam first. Okay, us. Look at y'all. I said Big Daddy Justin went, whoa. Okay. okay? They couldn't do anything without us first. So Spanish American War, if you think about it, is important. Because aren't the Philippines gonna be important in World War II? Imperialism itself is important. Because wasn't Hawaii Pearl Harbor important in World War II? Okay. All right, so I can move past imperialism. We did progressivism. The Roaring Twenties. Ooh, I skipped World War One in this PowerPoint. Do y'all need it? Not really. Cuban War Right. I mean, I know I'm jumping ahead now. How that whole Cuban business crisis? Yeah, that exactly. Happened. We got the under the lock now. Very good. They just jumped up to the 1950s. Yeah, that's but that's River and Michaela was like, wait a minute. I just thought about it. Cuba was a protectorate. Like, we were their big brother. They're going to flip on us. You know why? They turn what? Because that man, Fidel Castro, comes in, established communist government. Cuba goes from being the person that we protected to our worst enemy. Yeah, yeah buddy. And they are. Okay? Can I? Yes, darling. Okay, very good. Kayla said, what is our relationship with Cuba like now? Y'all know at one point you couldn't go to Cuba. Our relationship has gotten a lot better from what it was. Beautiful, darling. I want to actually go to Cuba. It's on my bucket list. My top three places, these are the places I can travel without y'all. You know I'm taking you Australia, New Zealand, Hawaii. Your parents will say that. But imagine if I came to your parents and I said, I'm taking your child to Afghanistan. Uh, no. Like I wanna go, I wanna go to Israel. I want to go to Cuba. Yeah, your parents. Some of your parents be like, yes, please take my kids. Syria. Take my child to Syria right now. Okay. All right. Let's look at the 1920s. Okay. I'll come back and do a refresher on World War I. Okay. What time is it? How long is this video now? 22 minutes. Okay. All right. Let's do the Roaring Twenties. Okay. First, let's think about who was our president during the, the Roaring Twenties. Well, actually, you're going to have two. Hardy. Coolidge. Coolidge, very good, okay? Coolidge and Harding. Notice we had two presidents. What happened to President Harding? He died. He died. So his vice president, we don't know why because they didn't do an autopsy. His vice president, Coolidge, is going to take over, right? Coolidge, silent cow. He didn't talk a lot. You remember, he, did, he said, if you ever run into somebody that's talking a lot, watch out because they're a liar. They're trying to out-talk you. Amen. Spirit, that is true, River. And I, it sound like you being shady with me talking, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's taking notes on the back of a referral, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> so Coolidge take over, took over. He was extremely quiet, but Coolidge is the reason why the 1920s roared because he used a form of economics that we're also going to use in the 80s with Reagan. Trickle down economics. Leave big businesses alone. Okay, let big businesses expand. Stop putting rules on them. He's trying to get in the camera. <laughs> Stop putting rules on them. Let businesses expand. So Coolidge is the reason for the 1920s. Y'all, if you, go ahead. Didn't Coolidge uh, fire uh, Hardy's friends? What is the friends called? Very good. As soon as Coolidge took over, he said, y'all gotta go. <laughs> what y'all doing? Uh, what is River doing? I didn't <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for telling me to proceed. Okay, as soon as he took over, he fired the Ohio gang. Um, y'all want to be honest? If you see the 1920s on that test, it could be on the economy of the 1920s because it was a roaring economy. But it could also be on the clash between traditional values and new ideas. Can a historian tell me in the 20s 
what was the clash between traditional values and new ideas? Justin? Women. He said women began to cut their hair, not bald like this, but flappers. They would cut it to bobs. You know I got a cute bob wig. They would wear shorter dresses. Oh my God, they were showing their sexy knee skin. Okay? Sleeve, sleeveless dresses. They would drink. Yes. That's another clash between new moralities and traditional roles. Do you teach evolution? Do you teach creationism? That's the Scopes trial, okay? It was just the clash of cultures. Another thing that changed with women, women began to say, maybe I ain't gotta have 11 kids. Because what comes out? Birth control, Birth control with Margaret Sanger. Women began to go to college. Women, we say that movement started because of the 19th Amendment, which gave women suffrage. They felt empowered. Yes, baby. Did Margaret Sanger just for everyone to stop having kids, or was it just for Y'all want me to be honest. Y'all want to get real. Y'all want to get funky. I know why. Okay. Okay. Margaret Sanger, if you go home and Google it, I'm not making it up. She was an extreme racist. Go home and Google Margaret Sanger, the mother of the birth control movement, and you will find her in pictures with the KKK. What a lot of people don't know, that birth control movement, Margaret Sanger wanted minorities to stop reproducing. Yeah, it was, okay? Poor, and she also wanted, Barbara, not just minorities, she wanted you to go before the government and almost ask permission before you could have children to see if you were like fit, if you could afford them too. Yeah, okay, a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> we did. And if you think about it, because my kid that did my project on Margaret, we done got closer and closer to you in this camp. <laughs> when Maddie did her project on Margaret Sanger, she came back to me the next day. She was like, Mom, this lady was a racist. She had no idea, okay? Um, so we kind of talked about that. We were also very, if you look at the 1920s, were we like wanting immigrants to come over? No. Very anti-immigrant. KKK membership is gonna skyrocket. Yes, darling. Margaret Sanger, like, wasn't her ideas kind of like Hitler's? Because he didn't want the undesirables with him. Now sip on that tea. I ain't say it. Kayla B said. What tea? Say it again. Hitler didn't want the undesirables reproduced. She said that wasn't that like Hitler when we get to Europe. He didn't want his undesirables to reproduce. Do you think that people in this country at one point, yeah, some might say still today, look at groups as undesirables? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, for 1920s, I think that's pretty much it. What you should know is the 1920s. It's gonna cause, even though our economy roared, isn't it gonna cause the depression in the 1930s? Mm -hmm. Because we were giving stuff out on what? Uh, Credit, down payments, okay? You want a Model T from Henry Ford? Put down a small down payment. You want that refrigerator? Small down payment. We do those things too? We do, but now you, you go, you try not to pay your bill, rental center coming to your house to take you and that bed out, okay? <laughs> Right, and there goes your credit score. Back then, it was like, oh, the 1920s is fine. Let's just loan all this stuff out on credit. You trusted people. Y'all, at this time, imagine this. At this time, you could even open up a tab at a grocery store. Let's say Ms. Richards was married, because that's the only way I could have credit. They didn't give credit to women, single women. I could go in a grocery store and say, hey, my husband doesn't get paid till next week, but I'm going to go ahead and get these week's groceries. He'll come in and pay it next week. And her husband would come in and pay it next week. You just opened the tab. Imagine if Walmart was like that today. Y'all, oh, you might say that's like Lailway. No, with Lailway, you can't take that stuff until you pay it off. Can Miss Richards go into Walmart and say, I don't get paid for two weeks, but let me go ahead and get this pot roast, this lobster tail, this hot sauce that is stealing. I am going to jail. Okay? Going to jail. Okay? So we know that the causes of the great... So for the 1920s, of course, you know the dime period, the 1920s, okay? Things were great. But look at the 1930s. What caused the 1930s Great Depression? The, the, the what we did in the 20s, stock market crash, all those things. So for a Great Depression and New Deal, our date, our time period is going to be from 1929. You really could carry that through 1945 because what's going to bring us out of the Depression is World War II. 
Okay, but Cold War starts. Yes, okay. What brings us out of the Depression is World War II. So, who were our presidents during the Great Depression? Hoover? FDR. FDR, you had two. But they were completely different. Hoover put us in it. You heard River? Hoover, River said, Hoover put us in it, didn't he? He did. Some people say, but they, they don't give him a fair shake. The reason why people say that is because did Hoover give out direct no. relief? No. Very good. Remember, I'm going to call on you to say that again. You heard Fitzroy say, no, he was a lame duck. Okay. Hoover didn't give out direct relief. Direct relief is money given directly to the people. Does FDR? Yes. FDR, you remember we call him Alphabet Soup President. AAA, CCC, FDIC, SEC, TBA, okay? He is going to give relief. When Hoover loses that next election, Fitzroy is right. He becomes a lame duck. He fails to act for the people, and that's why we have the 20th Amendment, right? It changed the date of inauguration from what to what? March to January. Because Hoover said, I am not going to act for you fools. You thought I didn't give you anything before? Oh, watch me now. Okay? He became a lame duck. Okay? Now, a lot of stuff was blamed on Hoover. Didn't a lot of things earn nicknames? Hooverville. Hooverville. That's like a shack town, a shanty town. Hoover Blankets. That is a newspaper. You're so poor, you just slept on the newspaper. Hoover flags. Hoover flags, y'all. This is a Hoover flag. Your pocket just empty. Just poor. Look at Miss Richards. Okay? Just poor. <laughs> just poor. You ain't got nothing. We blamed everything. Blame it on Hoover. You remember that? Now, the next president that comes along does give out relief. He was FDR, okay? He gave out relief with his program that was known as what? The New Deal. He said every man will get a new deal at life, okay? FDR gave out relief with those New Deal programs. I'm not going to go over all of them because I gave them to you in notes, but he did give out relief. If you see FDR on the test, does it necessarily mean that it's on the Depression? It could be on what, too? World War II. It could be World War II. Because FDR is our longest serving president. Very good. He was elected to four terms, okay? Our longest serving president, okay? Hoover did not give out direct relief. I taught you all of that, okay? Is everybody good with the Depression? Also, oh, that's something I didn't mention. Something else that you need to know for the Depression you might want to put there? Dust Bowl. Dust Bowl. What is River doing? <laughs> Dust Bowl, okay, is something else that occurred during the Depression. Are y'all good? Did they? Do we need to take a break or do I need to, I can keep going? Y'all need a break? Keep going? Okay, okay, I'll keep going. What time is it? All right, just give me like, because I just want to get through Cold War, okay? Cold War is our period right after World War II. I'm going to have to do a live tonight on like World War One, World War Two, okay? Because I skipped those, okay? I got your post notifications also. Tell me when you go live. It should. If not, I'll send out a reminder one on one link, okay? Um, let's start with Cold War. Look at our, y'all, look how long the Cold War lasted. 1945 to 1989. Why do we call it the Cold War? It is. Did we ever fight anybody? No. Our enemy. We didn't fight Russia, but we fought within it. You had hot conflicts in the Cold War. Korea. Korea and Vietnam, okay? Let's go over the Cold War, okay? The Cold War is when we tried to spread democracy, the Soviets tried to spread what? Communism, okay? We never actually fought them though. If y'all look, look at all of this stuff that is under there. The United Nations, NATO, the Iron Curtain. If we had to go over Cold War presidents, Y'all think about how many Cold War presidents you would have. Kennedy. Truman, Kennedy, Eisenhower, LBJ, Jay. Nixon, Ford, Carter, JFK, Reagan. Y'all, yeah. think about Reagan going to bring it to. He said, I'm done with this mess, okay? There are tons of Cold War presidents, though, right? Okay, so in the Cold War, what were we practicing? Uh, Containment. Yeah. Isolationism is dead. It got blown up after World War II when we dropped what? The atomic bombs on who? Japan. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um. So literally, we never actually fought the Soviets, though. Okay. Isolationism is dead. Instead, what happens in Europe is something to know. The Iron Curtain falls over Europe. Was it an actual curtain that you could see? 
but it divided communist Europe from non-communist Europe. Some things that you might see on that state test you need to know for Cold War, Truman Doctrine, Marshall Plan, because both of those, they were giving countries what? Money, so they wouldn't do what? Fall to communism, okay? It just gave countries money so they wouldn't fall to communism, okay? We also formed, <laughs> we also formed a mutual alliance between us and other non-communist nations called NATO, okay? We agreed to help pack and uh, help fight if something happened. Chris is right. The Soviet Union answered with their own version of that called what? Warsaw, Warsaw Pact. Some other things that you might see in the Cold War is um, the Korean conflict or the Vietnam conflict. At what parallel is Korea split? 17, 38. 38. 38. 38. Vietnam is split at what? 17. The way you can remember Fed Fed Wife, 17, 38, K. Korea is split at 38th parallel. North Korea, is it communist or non-communist? North, communist. South, non-communist. It's the same thing with Vietnam. North Vietnam, communist, led by Ho Chi Minh, remember that? South Vietnam, non-communist, okay? Um, also, China falls to communism. We tell you it goes into red China, okay? If y'all remember that. Is containment working? No? Okay, not with China, because it's just China just failed to communism. Okay, I'm trying to think about what else you might need to know. Um, the space race was going on as well. Which president called his program the New Frontier? Kennedy. 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 Very good. I thought somebody was gonna say Obama. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about saying Bush. Okay, baby, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Kennedy, because the Soviets were kicking our butts, right? Yeah. Do not be fooled. Were we trying to get into space just to get up there and look at stars? No. no, 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 no. No, Missiles, okay? No right, the space race was all about the Cold War. The Soviets got the first animal in the space, got the first man in the space, first man to orbit Earth. So Kennedy said, we will get the first man on the moon by 1970. Does Kennedy get to see it? No. Mm -mm. We get the first moon, or the man on the moon in 69, but Kennedy is assassinated in 63. So he does not get to see it. Something else that happened under Kennedy's administration was the Cuban Missile Crisis. Okay, the closest we've been to World War III. You guys asked me about that earlier. You were like, wait a minute, Cuba was our friend. Why the Cuban Missile Crisis? Because Cuba also failed to communism. But so, it, yeah. did the citizens want that really? It didn't matter. Uh, it didn't matter. In a communist regime, do you have a say so? No. How did he get like Okay, without doing a complete world history lesson, they had a leader, his name was Batista, not oh, the wrestler, yeah. okay? Fidel Castro took over. Do you imagine, what would it be like in the United States if you killed the president, now you're the president? Does it work like that here? No, you're going to jail, okay? The period, with the T, city girls. You're going to jail. But that's what happened. He overthrew the leader and, and that was in power, okay? Um, Y'all should know that the GI Bill is another one that you might see from the 1950s. GI Bill. If you see the 1950s, y'all, the... That's true, baby. Okay. If you see the 1950s, the economy, was it good or bad? Uh, Great. Okay. You had the GI Bill, baby boom, housing boom. Right. You did. Right. All, you heard all, all the kids of color say, was the 1950s great? Yeah. All the white kids, yes, it was great. Okay. That depends on who you are. Okay. Um, you are a car boom. But. People of color, you wouldn't, yeah. but no, you was getting boom because them churches was blowing up, right? <laughs> separate, but, separate but equal. So it just depends on who you are. That's always so funny. Kids are like, mm. Okay, right. Churches, all right. I didn't mean to. That is not funny. Okay, all right, let's move forward, you guys. Okay, oh, y'all, most state tested thing. Give me 10 minutes. Civil rights. Civil rights. Okay. They don't want to talk about it, but they want to test you on it. Come on now, Barbara. Civil rights, most tested, why don't you wave to them? Okay, that's River. All right, civil rights, okay? You want to come wave? Come on, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all want to come speak? So we can go, come on. 
This is Zaria. This is Fitzroy. This is D. Oh my God, y'all so stupid and musty. Hurry up so I can do silver rice. You hear Kay talking about I look good. Lord, you know who didn't look good? These people in civil rights. <laughs> Getting attacked with dogs and water hoses. Lord have mercy, okay? Civil rights is the most state tested thing, but you guys know this, okay? Um, because of the Plessy Doctrine, separate but equal, things were not that great, okay? Um, but civil rights movement, a lot of that's gonna be reformed. Y'all, I'm almost 100% positive you will see Civil Rights Act of 1964. What did that do? Does anybody okay. remember? Uh, let me say it again. Civil Rights Act of 64. Um, there we go. Y'all, I got nervous. It got rid of segregation. Now, Michaela said it gave African Americans voting rights. That's the Voting Rights Act of 65. Okay. Voting Rights Act of 65 because it took away a literacy test. Also, something you might see is um, the, the, the 24th Amendment. Got rid of poll tax, okay? Civil rights is the most state-tested thing, okay? Um, you might see Brown versus the Board of Education. What did that do? Desegregated schools, okay? Um, freedom Riders. What city did they get past? Jackson. They didn't get past Jackson, okay? They came here trying to desegregate buses. They were trying to get to New Orleans, but they didn't make it very good, okay? You also had uh, the, the, the Little Rock Nine incident. You remember in Central High School in Little Rock? They blocked them, the National Guard. Orville Fobb, as the governor said, blacks will not go to the school. So our President Eisenhower had to step in and force those kids to be allowed into the school, okay? Same thing happened here in uh, Mississippi at Ole Miss with Jane Meredith, right? Kennedy had to send federal troops to escort him, okay? Huh? 500. Very good, River. It was 500. Out of the Little Rock Nine, yeah, it was like only one that finished because it was so dangerous. They didn't want to uh, stay. Okay, you guys learned all that. Okay, now in the Civil Rights Movement, you could have been a follower of Malcolm Little. Do we call him Little? No. We call him X because he changed his name to uh, X because if you're African American, your last name comes from the people that owned you. Okay, that's why when y'all be trying to call me Miss Richard's son, Richard. I ignore you. Right. If you, I wish you would say Richard. That's, that's right, baby. Okay? You cannot, I'm so passionate about my last name because I know my history, okay? Or you could have followed Martin Luther King. He was nonviolent. He got his viewpoints from who? Gandhi. Gandhi. Malcolm X said by any means necessary, okay? Right. You, how many of you would have been a follower of Martin Luther King? Y'all so You could have sat through a sit-in and let them spit in your face and throw the hot coffee on you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Real, but now that's a lie. You be trying to fight people if they move you your yeah, back. You yeah. I don't feel comfortable saying that. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Um, is everybody good with civil rights? Yes. Is there another? I think that's it, y'all. That's the last era. Is the fact that one uh, with the civil rights activity? Yeah, let me, let me say this. Thank you, Barbara. Make sure you know the difference between de facto and de jure. They jure segregation, like Ms. Richards went to law school, but I dropped out. If I would have went, I would have had a juris doctorate. Jure is the law. De jure segregation is segregation by law, meaning uh, whites and people of color will go to separate schools. De facto is a segregation one that was dangerous. That's my cousin. That's the culture. A, a person of color should never look a white person in the eyes. You say sir or man. Emmett Till is an example of that, right? Y'all, I think that's it. I'm going to upload another video. It'll just be me on the wars to give you that review. Y'all, the one thing I could tell you. Who's in it too? You remember at Mississippi? Is that that 14 year old? Yeah, very good. Okay. Um, Y'all, what I don't want you to do is stressing out all that. Just review over this. You might watch this video, but then you get a rest because you're a historian. You already know this, right? Don't stress, okay? Are there any other questions that you might have about this lecture before I turn it off because somebody else might have a question? That's it? All right, let me turn this off. Wait, 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 I want Oh my God, say bye, it's record. Bye. Oh my, bye. I'm Chris, hey. I'm gonna look at Kay, getting his hair right again. <laughs> I'm back, oh, oh my God, <laughs> I still look bad. Get, all right, yeah, look at River. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God.
Oh, you meet with the Yeti? Turn around. Turn around. Guess who it is? Bitch, what's your name? Go right there. Oh. 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 What are you doing, Kayla? <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. 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 Look, look,